face cam on? Do I want my face cam on? I know that's a weird way of starting a video, but do I want it on? Or is it going to cover something? Oh, it's probably going to cover something. I think I'll leave it off. I need to open up my Twitch. I'm starting a bit later than I wanted to, but oh well. Not that it matters for YouTube. That was Steam. I just opened Steam. Who can relate? No, Steam, go away. At least I opened you this time instead of you opening on your own for some reason. Okay, I'm ready. Right. Duh. It. We gotta figure out who stole this child's money. It's one of our children that stole this child's money. How dare they? Well, we need to get this child in there too. You, go to the dining room. <gasps> Why do you walk all s I hate that walk. I wish they wouldn't do that. They look so angry when they walk like that. Am I still missing children? I think I'm still missing children. Any children out here by the tables? No. Any children over here? No. I don't get all this talk of a building resort. What is so great about Okinawa? A friend of mine once went over to the mainland. And he says that the ocean there is really dirty. Not only like the sparkling blue of our oceans. Really? Don't people go swimming during the summer? That's because they don't know any better. Nobody who who's ever been to Okinawa could stand to swim in that sludge. Hmm. I guess that's why I observe everyone comes to the vacation here. Our neighbors have been living here for how long? And they don't like they can't figure out how beautiful this is. Good seeing you, curious on. Got a burning question to ask. This new military base they keep going on about. Yeah, yeah or nay? It's a good question. I'm against it. Huh. I'm against it. Ah, I knew you were a kindred spirit, curious on. The people of the island are sick and tired of the military imposing on our land. Besides, popping more mil more bases down is essentially saying we're preparing for war. And when the war inevitably comes, we'll be trapped in a combat zone with no escape in sight. Not to mention all this outrageous talk about erecting some fancy shiny resort. As if that will finally make Okinawa prosperous. They ask me, they're trying to tear down everything we've worked for since the Second World War. All for a little pocket change. There you go. Whoops. I didn't want to leave. It's not really that easy to leave. I'm not used to that. That I can just walk away. I'm going to set the city. There has to be a kid somewhere down here, then. Hey, this box spawned again. I wonder if it can have something in it. There's a prawn in the box? Or a can fishing bait. Okay. Or maybe I do have all the kids and I'm just crazy, but I want to try fishing again.
Oh. Yeah, I get it. Iguze. Crap, 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 crap. Crap. I think maybe I get it. Try one more time. He's the burger's bait. Iguze. I really want to try and understand this fishing minigame. I don't get this. I'm all out of bait, so. I want to understand it, I want to start catching fish, but I don't get it. I kind of like the old fishery mini game better. Do I have all the kids? Is there something I'm missing? Ah, oh, I can go out the back. The child back here. No, it doesn't look like it. Is there anywhere else in the neighborhood that I can travel to? Cause it looks like, yeah, it still looks like I'm missing a kid. I can't think of where or who. Get my worm. Yeah, I already talked to them, neighbors. What's over here? Oh, this brings me to town as well. Okay. Well, that's not what I want. I'll gather everyone in the dining room. As far as I know, I did gather everyone, right? I'll check the edges of the beach, but I think I did.
Don't know why I can't start anything. I think I got all the kids. Oh, there's nine of them? Right? Well, not nine kids, nine people? I should count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, that should be everyone. Why can't I talk to anyone? Why isn't it triggering? That's why I'm thinking I'm missing someone. Aha, I am missing someone. Something we need to talk about. Wait for me in the dining room, okay? Okie dokie. I didn't even know this room was in here. Yeah, we have a laundry room, apparently. Why was the... I guess the kid was doing laundry. And that's pretty much all we know. Ayoko was really worried, and rightfully so. The money got taken right out of her wallet after the all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do, but if one of you stole the money, I need you to speak up. When did you first notice it was gone? Um, I think it was two days ago. Alright then, did any of you notice anything weird going on? Were there any strangers hanging around or anything? Um... I think I saw something Riona was digging around in Ayoka's bag. Riona. Ayoka-chan said I could borrow her paint, so I was getting it out of her bag. You don't think I stole the money, do you, Uncle Kaz? Of course not. Now that I think about it, didn't Misoto just buy a new model set? It's a pretty fancy one, too. Kind of suspicious timing, don't you think? Well, Misoto, how did you get the money for something like that? Huh? I saved up for weeks, that's how. I didn't do anything wrong, Uncle Kaz. I even stopped buying snacks so I could save up quicker. Besides, don't they say that the first guy to speak up is usually the one who did it? What's up with you two? Uncle Kaz, what do we do? Alright, we're done here. This is cl clearly a mistake. But somebody stole the money, right? Yeah, he's right. Look, we're not gonna keep sitting here flinging accusations at each other. That's not what being a family is about. But I'll say it again, if one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever you want. I won't tell the others. The only thing that accomplished was making everyone doubt each other. Although, we'd be missing a lot more than he has money if the thief had come out from outside. So as much as I hate to admit, one of the kids must have stolen it. Guess the only option now is to look through the things. That's... I don't like that idea, but okay. I guess he is a parent, so he can do whatever he wants. What are you doing in here, Ernie? Eerie? I'm nothing. That's Akano's bag, right? And you know you can't dig around in there without her permission. Come on, just tell me what you were doing. Or is there a reason you don't want to say her wrong? She returning the money? Oh, Kaz, what's wrong with her? I found her looking through your bag. Huh? Oh, is something else missing? No, -uh. actually, the money's back in my wallet. What? So, what, she ran this way? Probably towards the beach? 
That's kind of where they all run off to, yeah. Alright. Sorry you told me what's going on. I'm sorry, Uncle Kaz. I'm really, really sorry. So it was you. I promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I didn't have any money. Then why'd you promise? I never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they get way more allowance than I do. And you have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never ask me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I was really happy. I couldn't say no to that, so I just took the money. I was going to give it back next time I got my allowance, I swear, but I'm sorry, Uncle Cass. I'm glad you were planning to pay her back, but you can't borrow something that's not yours without asking first. That's stealing, I know. But you gave the money back, and now you've confessed to it. That's really brave of you. The next step now is apologizing to her. I think you can do that for me. But, but I made everyone so mad. Nobody's going to forgive me. She's young. She's a little kid. She looks really Chinese compared to everyone else. <laughs> ありがとう。そしてごめん。なんでなんでアヤコちゃんが謝るの本当はね、私エリちゃんがお金持っていくところ見ちゃってたんだ。でもね、私私その場でエリちゃんのこと止めてあげられなかった。エリちゃんのことを本当に思ったら私あの場で言うべきだった後悔してるんだ私の方がお姉ちゃんなのに勇気がなかった私にもっと勇気があればこんな大きなことにならなかったのにだからごめん。私も許して。ごめんね。ごめんね。Is Kiryu ever gonna see any of these kids get adopted? They're pretty old. Come on, you two. Let's get back inside. They're going to school and stuff. Oh, what's wrong? Um, everyone's so angry. I wonder what they're gonna do when they find out Eri took the money. I mean, Koji and Rayona are already fighting. What do we do, Uncle Kaz? Mm. Everyone's gonna hate me. Nobody's gonna hate anyone. I'll tell you what, leave the talking to me. What I need you to do is this. Got it? I'm so sorry, Uncle Kaz. Come on, let's get everyone in the dining room. Okay, I'll round them up. Me too. Param 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 param. They all already gonna be there. Okay. That was fast. Faster than I could do it. I said up. We got the money back. Really? Then you know who the thief is. Not so fast. I actually have to apologize to all of you. Why? Well, Eri came to me yesterday saying she found some money, but I. I guess it slipped my mind today. Seriously? Where'd you find it? In the yard. And how much was it? A thousand yen? Which is exactly how much you were missing, right? Meaning there's a good chance the money Erie found yesterday is the same money that went missing from the bag. There's no other possibility. Don't you guys think? Hmm, I guess. Sounds about right to me. So then nobody stole the money. Why was I getting blamed for it? I'm sorry. So it all of this could have been avoided if I had just remembered sooner. Everyone, I'm really sorry. So he he threw a white lie. Sorry is not ah. good enough. Yeah. I got called a thief. Yeah, me too. Hold on, guys. Wait, I'm the one who dropped the money, so if you're going to get mad at anyone, get mad at me. I should have said something sooner, too. I'm really sorry, everyone. Stone Cas was just a little forgetful. I think we should be glad none of us turned out to be the thieves. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess. Sorry, man. Don't worry about it. And I'm sorry for sucking you, Mizoto. Yeah, whatever. I probably deserved it for what how I treated Koji. Yay, it's all in the past now. I'm just glad I got my money back. Though now I'm realizing I'm starving. When's dinner on pass? I want to eat, too. Me, three. Oh, yeah. We totally forgot about dinner. Right. Let's get moving. And make it snappy, Uncle Cass. Yeah, try not to eat the table while we're gone. Actually, why don't you all go play outside while we cook? We'll come get you when it's ready. You okay. Well, I guess we better get started. Right. Cooking mini game. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz. What's wrong, Touchy? It's that guy with the curly hair. I saw him again. Yeah, he's in the blue truck. Probably spying on us again. It's definitely him. Alright, I'll handle it. Sure, everyone gets inside. Okay. No, I want cooking minigame. I'm gonna go take a look outside. Think you can handle the dinner while I'm gone, Erica? Of course. Be careful, Uncle Kaz. I'll be fine. Don't worry. But if I'm not back in time for dinner, you guys can start without me. Okay. Where are these guys? I want the worm! I also should go check on Leah. Well, that's the neighbors. That's the other neighbor. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe Tachi was wrong. Why are the kids gone? They were just here. Mata omae ka. Ore no kotae wa kawatte ne zo. Iya. Kyo wa so yun jan den desu. Hmm? じゃあ何の用だ今日は兄貴にどうしても頼みたいことがあってお kind of favor are we talking? It's got to do with the, the little lady. You mean the girl with the sketchbook? That's right. Two nights ago she just disappeared. Nobody knows where she could have gone. You think she ran away? Don't know. We got men searching the streets and all, but they haven't found so much as a trace of her yet. And have you gone to the police? Well, not exactly. Why not? You should file a missing yeah. person report. I don't know that we can really... can. What do you mean? Well, the truth of it is, she's the daughter of a guy the boss used to do business with. Now the boss is taking care of the girl, yeah? But he never officially adopted her. If the cops found out about that, they'd ship her back to her parents, no question asked. We don't want that. Yeah. Right. Saki-san's parents are real scum of the earth, let me tell you. Her dad gambled all their money away and then some. They would come home stick, stick in a booze and beat the daylights out of the girl and her mom. Her mom, on the other hand, was always sleeping around acting like she didn't want a damn thing to do with her. So then Nakahara took Saki in to protect her. Yep, three years back we got asked to collect on her dad's gambling debt. So the boss went over to their house, but when he walked inside, what happened? He found the guy dead, hanging in blue face with a rope in the other room. Saki-san would be clutching his lifeless leg. And her mom? Probably off with one of her fuckboys. Lady never gave a single shit about Saki-san. Which is why Nakahara took her in. Yep, the boss looks scary, sure, but he's got a good heart. It just wasn't in him to leave Saki-san like that. And yeah, he complained at first about how much trouble it was raising a kid, but it wasn't long till he ended up a proud father. Now he treats Saki-chan like she's his own flesh and blood. That's amazing. Yeah, but word has it her mom's back in town, that she wants to take Saki-san back. Why now, after all this time? Beats me. Probably so she can have a maid to do all the housework while she goes out to parties. Anyway, the boss has been trying 
to keep the little lady in the office so her mom wouldn't be able to find her. Which is why she was there when I stopped by, yep. And now that she's missing, the boss is real worried. Saki's not a child anymore, though. Couldn't she just call him if she needed to? Call him? Not a chance in hell. Why not? The girl's mute. What? The doctor said it's some kind of mental block, probably from watching her dad hang himself right in front of her. So you see, she can't call us. And that's why she has a sketchbook. Come on, Anaki. We gotta find her as soon as possible, please. Well, at least that's one character that won't talk to me. で、俺に何をしろと。今、親父は荒れちまって手がつけられねえ状態です。だから兄貴に出張ってもらって、とりあえず親父を落ち着かせてほしいんです。なんで俺なんだ。先日の一件から、親父は兄貴に一目置いて
with some carage of fresh sashimi. Mm. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I'll grab me a coke. Now that's a good idea. Right there, that stuff is so tasty. You can down a bottle in a couple minutes. My daughter's a fan too. She just got to the drinking age and she just loves making cocktails. Then open it. Why can I do it so easily? I should open the other side actually, but oh well. There you go. Cocktails with stuff and fruit juice. Drink it with your daughter. Well, doesn't that sound peachy? I just drink that stuff alone. It's, you're depressing. Tell me I could get the wife to drink it with me. I remember this when I'm over at the cabaret club. Oh. Interesting. Another taxi guy. Mm, a seedy back alleyway. My favorite. Oh wait, this is where their their office is. <laughs> I always forget this. Ah, Kashira, Kiryu Forgot we were talking to the boss first, and then we we're gonna find the child. Flipping tables and making a mess, huh? Always making a mess? No. I just met this guy not too long ago. Oh, he's got the Asian flush. He's red in the face. What do you want this time? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about your little land problem. Rikiki, uh, whatever his name is. Tell me what's going on with Saki. Ah, that... For ya. Never knows when to keep his damn mouth shut. This ain't your problem, curious son. Why don't you go look for her? Can't. Wouldn't be so miserable if it was that easy. What do you mean? She went away because she didn't want to live with me anymore. I just scare her off, so I went if I went hunting for her now. Why don't you know that for sure? Why don't you just try to figure out why she really ran away? It wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you go now. I told me Saki's mom has been looking for her recently. Maybe Saki just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same difference. Either she wants to be with her mom or she doesn't want to be with me. God damn it. Am I really worse than that miserable whore? <laughs> Nekahara. Guess a Yakuza like me doesn't have any business taking a kid in the first place, huh? That's not true. All children need some place. Someone who really, truly cares about them. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. The hell do you know? You think you're some kind of kid expert just because you run a fucking orphanage? I know enough. I was an orphan myself, huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. And since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more of a father than I ever had. He might have been a Yakuza, yeah, but I loved him all the same. And he killed your parents. That's why you went to the orphanage. <laughs> I'm sure Zaki loves you too, but it's natural for her to miss your mom. She's just a kid after all. You you really think? Of course. Now get out there and find her before someone else does. But I can't. Why not? Look at me, Kiryu-san. Why would Zaki ever want to come back to this mess after seeing her mother? A thug like me could never compare it to an actual parent. I'm just gonna have to face the fact Saki's gone. You really think so? This is why she starts living at, I'm assuming, at the orphanage. Yeah, I do. 
Because we saw that in the prologue.俺が先から話を聞いてやる。え、なんでお前さんが？俺もな、あんたと一緒で目の前に困っている崖がいると放っておけない立ちなんだ。ちょっとあんた、俺はあんたから土地を取り上げようと安心しな。別に酒を連れ
Oh, this is those coin lockers. Okay. At least it's marked. I like that it's marked finally. Stop yelling Anaki. God, that's gonna get annoying. Punch you in the face again. Stop it! Worst companion ever. He's just trying to be your friend. No, he's just being annoying. I can't run faster, otherwise I would. Hey, have you seen a girl with a sketchbook around here recently? Yeah, I think I saw her walk by with her mother a little bit ago. Mother. I mean, I imagined it was her mother. Two of them were holding hands, so I thought for sure they were mother and daughter. Where did they see them? Yeah, over in that district. Well, ho, hold it. You ain't exactly the most honest guy, are you? Don't you realize you're stepping all over our turf? Sorry, but I'm gonna have to show you, you your place. <laughs> I'll show you whose place it is. Oh, he looks creepy. Oh, you're definitely gonna get it looking creepy like that. Bonk! You're not a normal guy, are you? I need to do something. Some thinking. Hope this makes up for the trouble. Oh, thanks. You gave me some healing items that I haven't used yet. <laughs> Leah, what I say about being quiet? If you're gonna be in here watching me play a game, you gotta be quiet. Or you can go back to watching your show. I can tell you're not just some guy off the street. You got some real fire in your eyes. You're a real player, aren't you? Well, I got a place I'd like to show you. Follow me if you're interested. Yeah, lead the way. You won't regret this. Follow me. It's right through this door. Oh, it's gambling hall. Got it. Uh. Not interested in the gambling hall, I don't think. Leah, knock it off. Cause it's annoying. Ew, a bunch of boba teas and puddings. Not funny, kid. It's not funny to me. I told you to be good. It'd be quiet. We can't take a taxi to this red light district? Why?
I didn't mean to go in there. Oh, thank God, it's you. Something terrible happened. All right, all right, calm down. Saki-chan. Oh, what about her? I just saw her in Hatsuchimuchi with some woman I've never seen before. Something felt really off about the whole thing. Are you sure it was her? Oh, well, if it isn't the dashing young fella from before, this must be fate. Come on, we don't got time for your hopeless flirting. Let's try and focus. Where did you see Saki? Coming out of the convenience store over at the intersection with some woman who was absolutely dressed to the nines. I wonder who she was. Maybe Saki's mother? Then you really think she went back? Hard to say. The only way to know for sure is to find her and ask. You going to have a party tonight? Party? Oh shit, it's the boss's birthday. I've been so distracted, it totally slipped my mind. He's not going to be in any mood for celebration if we can't find Saki though. Then we're not doing ourselves any favors by standing around. Come on, let's go. Right. We gotta bring her back, even if it's just for today. Let's move. You there. In the kitschy shirt. Hmm. Holy shit. Who are you? Me? Who the fuck are you? Don't tell me you didn't know you're waddling all over Tashishiro family territory right now. Tashishiro? Tamashiro. Sorry, never heard of him. I usually try to keep my nose out of the Yakuza business. Bullshit. It's clear as damn Okinawa. Now a sky what you do for a living. I'm telling you the truth. And if I was a Yakuza, I'm not here looking for trouble. Now I suggest you leave us alone. Or else, wait. Is that Ryuki back there? Your little game of hide and seek's not gonna work on me. Righty asshole. Aw, oh, shit. I knew it. Not Yakuza my ass. If you weren't Yakuza, you wouldn't be spending your time with this righty sap. You here, here to try and take the brat back? Hmm? What brat? I don't got time for the 20 questions, bitch. Come on, boys. Let's show them what we do with trespassers. <laughs> The Tamashiro family is definitely going to be a problem to us, I'm sure. But not today. Holy shit, they can pick up a- they can pick things up too? No, no, I don't like that! They, I didn't know they can pick things up too! Who made them able to do that? Shit, this guy really eats his spinach, huh? So, you ready to talk now? Tell me about the brat you mentioned. Uh, you listening, punk? Open your mouth or I'll open it for you. Now, did you kidnap Saki or not, huh? Look, we didn't take nobody. Some bitch claiming to be the girl's mother brought her in. That could... What could her mom possibly have to do with the Tamashiro? Duh, the tramp sleeping with the boss probably doesn't realize she's just another notch on the bedpost for him. In other words, you have no reason to keep Saki. Give her back. Look, we don't ha have her in a cage or nothing. She and her mom could be anywhere. Hmm. I think there's more to this than you're letting on. Maybe we should go pay your boss a little visit. Where's the office? Are you out of your mind, Anaki? We can't go in there, just the two of us. Hey, your boy's right. They're gonna tear you limb from limb in there. But if you really want to die, I'll tell you. It's on the street behind the convenience store. You heard the man. Come on. But Anaki. <laughs> Kiryu's not afraid of shit. Looks like this is the place. I mean, yeah, but we're not really gonna walk in there by ourselves, are we? They'll pulverize us. What? You scared? Me? I'm not scared of a damn thing. 
I'd put my life on the line if you asked me to, Anaki. Wait, that's... Saki's sketchbook. This drawing is... Something wrong, Anaki. We're definitely on the right track. Saki has to be here. I knew it. I want you to... Go get Nakahara and tell him we found her. And bring him back with you. Um, okay. What about you, Anaki? Just go. I'll keep an eye on things here. Okay. I'll be back in a jiff. Or we're gonna walk in and we're gonna guess. Well, so headed. <laughs> He's too much of a pussy to join us. Oof. Oh, I'm sorry. Another one of Tomoshiro's grunts, huh? Did I need to teach you a lesson too? Wait, please. Just look at me. Do I seem like a Yakuza to you? You have a point. But you do look familiar. Anyway, if you're not with Tomoshiro, what are you doing walking into their office? Well, I have a, a deal to make with them. You know how it is. I mean, you're obviously a Yakuza. Not anymore, I'm not. I'm just here to take care of some business. Though, so, well, I'm... Kamiyama, what's your name? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san? Why does it feel like I know you that name? Anyway, I deal in certain choice items. They've been in high demand lately. If I do say so myself. It sounds like Tomoshiro are going to war soon, so they asked me to bring some of my stuff over. And let me guess, my stuff means weapons? You don't have to scream, the whole town's gonna hear, but if you're gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tomoshiro, I might be able to lend a hand if you catch my drift. I thought they were one of your customers. Well, yeah, but they're one of those customers you wish you could get rid of, but can't because they pay you rent. Though, if you start buying from me and wipe them out, I could finally be free from their clutches. Hold on a sec. I never said a word about wiping anyone out. No need to be coy with about it. I've been in this business for a long time. Ripped guys like you, you are like the brawling type. It's obvious you've probably been in more fights than I can count. Either way, wouldn't you rather have a weapon on you when you bust in there? Better than going in empty handed. I guess. It's settled. I know the perfect store that can get you fix you need. That suspicious white van. That's it there. Not much for appearances. Don't worry about that. Just come with me. This is the only shop in town that sells that kind of underhanded stuff you're looking for. This guy is an associate of mine. It's uh, quite a setup. And I don't knock mobility. Anything can help you get away from the fuzz and a positive in my book. book. Right. I think this is your certificate. Oh, heavens no. This one's all handed, handled by my pal here. My own shop is up on the second floor of a building near the Raidu office. That's where I sell gear and mod stuff, too. Near the Raidu office, huh? <laughs> I wish I could just give you everything you need to crush the Tamashiro, but remember, I'm running a business here. Let me see here. This should get your engine started. Equip weapons, armor, accessories by selecting the items. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He gave me extendable staff. That sounds fun, I guess. あれだお前。言うといっかなやつか。さっきはどこだ。ガキならお部屋の部屋だ。だが、お前はあのガキに会う前に死んじゃうけどね。ザクに用はね、通らせてもらうぜ。大した<笑><笑><笑> I didn't realize that Kiryu was wearing different shoes than before. Oh, this staff is awesome. It's 
shame I'm gonna use it all up in the first fight. He's running in fear, I like that. Mm -hmm. Back to what we were doing. Oh, can I not pick up these barrels? I guess not. He locked the door. <laughs> You're not locked. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. We taught the enemies to be able to pick up furniture. 
That's unfair. Furniture's my thing. さき。竜道一家の新入りか。一人で飛び込んでくるとはいい度胸だ。俺は竜道一家じゃない。その子を取り返しに来ただけだ。何おかしなこと言ってんだ。この崖に用があるのは中原だけだろうが。理由はどう
my kicks that make the enemies go flying. I want those kicks back. I get that Kiryu is what, 39 now? But still. No, he'd be 40. It's 2008, he'd be 40. I hit the wrong button, shit. Got him.何が娘よ。何が母親よ。バカじゃないの、あんたたち。何私はね、この子の生で人生めちゃくちゃになったのよ。生まれた時から、いつも邪魔だった。このまま、お嬢の前じゃなんてことを。うるさい。私に触らない
ちゃん見守ってくれてありがとうもう答えは出ていたんだ先はあんたの本当の娘なんだそうだろう先ナイスホースムメサッキーありがとうなありがとうなサッキーサッキー今回の一件あんたには本当に世話になったこの中原茂人人気報道40年あんたほどの男見たことがねえやめてくれいやそうはいかねえ俺はあんたとどうしても兄弟の杯を交わしたいと思ってる何失礼します何してるんだお前ら桐生の兄弟頼む俺はあんたに惚れちまった杯を交わしてくれと言ってもな俺はもう極道じゃねえんだそんなことは関係ねえ要は俺があんたに惚れたってことだけだそれで十分勝手な話だな売却人もいねえが我慢してくれ頼む売却人なら俺が引き受けますよバスディエゴドゥイヘアダイゴお久しぶりです、キリュウさん。どうしてダイゴがここに例の沖縄リゾート開発の土地買収の件で。リゾートの土地買収だとええ、実は今話題になっているリゾート開発に必要な土地の買収。沖縄の登場会参加の組織が。中心となって進めていたことなんです。なんだとまさかその登場会参加の組織ってのが、玉城組だってのかそうです。玉城組は登場会の下部、五次団体に当たる組織です。その玉城組が、登場会の本家の許可もなく、勝手にリゾート開発の土地買収を進めていたんです。どうして玉城組は、土地の買収を例のリゾート開発計画の立案者である鈴木大臣土地の買収を玉城組に依頼したというのがことの発端ですあのリゾートは一定の広さの土地を揃えることができないと動かない計画なんです、うん、だからあの土地が必要なのかはいリゾートに必要な土地を確保するためにはどうしても現地に詳しい組織に任せる必要がありますからね玉城組は格好の存在だったというわけですその話は分かっただがどうして大悟が沖縄に来る必要があったんだ玉城組の土地買収のやり口は非常に強引なものでした他人から土地の権利書を奪い取るようなことばかりしていましたからねじゃあうちの先をさらったのも俺の土地の権利書が目的だったのかおそらくそうでしょう。玉城は中原さんのお子さんを誘拐し、身の代として土地権利書を取引するつもりだったのでしょう。くそ、玉城の野郎。手の込んだ真似しやがって。玉城組のような強引な土地買収を続ければ、いずれ大ごとになるのは明白です。リゾート開発にヤクザが絡んでるなんてスキャンダル。世間に知れた。リゾート開発はおろか、基地拡大法案まで白紙に戻る可能性があります。それでタミヤさんは私のところに事態の収集を依頼してきたんです。そうなのか。世間でささやかれている通り、基地拡大法案とリゾート開発計画はワンセットなんです。それはどういうことであの二つは持ちつ持たれつの関係なんですよ。
どちらかが倒れたらうまくいかなくなるリゾート開発がなくなれば基地拡大法案だけが残ってしまい住民感情から法案が通る可能性がなくなりますだからある意味タミヤさんにとってリゾートは自分の基地拡大法案の生命線なんですなるほどそれでタミヤは自分の基地拡大法案にケチがつかないよう第五に事態の収集を依頼したってわけかええそうです私は今回の仲裁をこちらのトーマくんに頼まれタミヤさんと一緒に沖縄までタミヤ防衛大臣の秘書をさせていただいていますトーマ商用と申しますほうその年で大臣先生の秘書さんとは立派なもんだないえいえ私はタミヤ先生のご指示に従っているだけの男ですしかし土地の買収を止めてしまえばどのみちリゾート開発も進まなくなるんじゃないのか結局タミヤの基地拡大法案は通らなくなってしまうだろうその件に関しては地域住民との話を詰めながら進める予定と聞いておりますどうしてそこまでして法案を通したいんだ基地拡大法案を通せばリゾート開発よりも大きな仕事を成し遂げたことになり次期総理へ一気に近づくからですなるほどな登場会としても本来なら株組織の仕事を奪うようなことはしたくないんですがひとたびスキャンダルになってしまった場合後々警察にマークされてしまう可能性も高いそれだけは何としても避けたいと思い仲裁の役目を引き受けたわけですそういうことだったのかでもまさか桐生さんの施設が買収対象だったとは正直驚きましたよまあしかしこれでどっちにしてもあの土地を手放さなくてよくなったんだからよよかったじゃねえかまあなしかし今回はこういう結末になりましたがこのままというわけにはいきませんいずれリゾート計画は私の手で必ず実現させますどういうことだあんたはタミヤの秘書だろうリゾートよりも基地拡大が重要なんじゃないのか私は沖縄出身ですこの辺境の地はこのままなら必ず廃れていってしまうリゾート開発計画のように直接沖縄に金が落ちる仕組みを作らなければこの島はいつまでたっても発展していかない私はタミヤ大臣の秘書ですが基地よりもむしろリゾートの方が沖縄には必要だと思っていますトーマさんしたっけかあんたはいあんた沖縄の人間なら分かってんだろう別に沖縄の人間がそんなこと望んじゃいねえってことくらいよ俺も最初は沖縄に金が欲しいならいいと思ったけどなやっぱりそうじゃねえ大事なのは俺ら沖縄の人間が愛せるままの沖縄ってことなんじゃねえのか一度東京に行けばわかりますよいかに沖縄が日本にとって必要のない小さな島なのかってことが私は何としても沖縄を豊かにしたいそのためなら多少の犠牲は必要だと思っていますその犠牲が俺らの土地ってわけかええ、沖縄には海や砂浜は腐るほどあります多少リゾートのために切り取ったところで問題はないはずだ目的のためなら一人二人の犠牲は構わねえんだなんていかにも政治家さんの発想だと思うんだけどねでもよそんな土地に命張って生きてる人間もいるんだぜ<笑>とにかく今回の一件これで幕引きとさせてください失礼しようトーマ君
大悟はいもしまた登場会がここの買収に来るようならその時は一言言ってから来てくれ俺にも守らなきゃならないものがあるからな分かっていますですがご安心ください俺が六代目のうちは沖縄にはって出しませんよ本当だなええ俺は嫌ってほどキリュウさんの怖さ知ってます敵に回したら登場会が潰れちまうふんトウくんの夢は彼が総理大臣になった時にでもやってもらいましょうなトウマくんその頃はもうキリュウさんもいい年になって今面倒見てる子供さんたちも今の俺くらいの年にはなってますよそれならいいでしょう俺は結構しぶといぜ<笑>そうでしたじゃあ今度はプライベートで四代目 His hands are huge k i r i u s hands are also huge They did hands in this game really well though んんあんたもしかしてあの登場会の四代目手分けじゃねえよなそれがどうしたえ嘘だろ四代目っつったらよこっちの人間でも知ってるぜ確か堂島のりってあああああああああんたひょっとしてキリュウまあ今度から喧嘩を売るときはちゃんと相手のことを調べてからにするんだな兄弟<笑>なんかとんでもねえやつと坂月かわしまったぜまあそんなこともあるさくフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ I'm trying to keep Kiryu's age on, in track. Hi, Kiryu, what is that? Kashiwagi, that. Kashiwagi, sir, sorry, I'm just now in the hospital. I'm going to get back to the hospital. Kiryu, the six days ago, was shot. Kashiwagi looks old. The six chairman's been shot. What the hell? どういうことなんですか ?It happened about an hour ago in his office. I'm not sure of the specifics. All we know for certain is that the man who shot him was a splitting image of Patriarch Kazuma. Kazuma Kazuma san? So rash in that. Tony Kaku, Joko Gawakari Shida in Luxor. So yeah. どう,どうしたんですか兄貴どうやら東京でも登場会の六代目が撃たれたらしいえそれって一年前兄貴とうちの親父が杯交わした時売却人してくれたあのおそらく大悟を撃ったのその絵の男なんですかああそうらしいんだドクハウスボス We've done all we can to stabilize the condition The next week or so will be critical Is he gonna make it? It's hard to say with absolute certainty He was shot three times at point blank range after all Luckily, the bullets will appear to have narrowly missed his vital organs. 
That is certainly something to be thankful for. What are the odds he'd pull through, Doc? You gotta tell me. At the moment, I'd say around 50-50. Oh. But remember, he managed to call an ambulance entirely on his own, despite having been shot multiple times. I don't think he's ready to leave you all just yet. And we'll do everything we can to make sure he doesn't. Thank you so much, Doc. Oh, who has? What's up, Haruka? Are you gonna go back to Kamurocho? I don't know if I am. Huh? Why not? I have a life here now. Responsibilities. I don't have time to go running off to Tokyo to drop at the drop of the hat. But if you don't, we're gonna lose the orphanage, right? Hard to say. Though one thing's for sure, whoever shot Nakahara was after the deed for our land. Anaki. Material. Oh. Sorry, but I got a favorite ask. What is it? Well, uh, I want to go to Kamarocha with you, huh? I know you're going to try and get the deed back, Anaki, which means finding the guy who shot the boss. Well, you, you got to take me with you. Oh. And Miku can stick around the hospital while we're gone. He's on board if it means us getting payback for what that asshole did to the boss. And Saki, what happens to her? Er, look, I'm glad you want revenge for your boss, but who's gonna be there to look after Saki if you're not around? Well, uh, I can do it. Huh? Saki-chan can stay with us at the orphanage. It's not gonna be easy, you know. I know, but she's probably been really lonely with her dad in the hospital and everything. Maybe it'll be good for her to spend time with the other kids for once. Ruka-chan. Stop yelling. I'm sure the other others would love to have a new friend to play with, too. But please, Uncle Kaz, I've trusted all you all these years. This time I need you to trust me. We'll take good care of her, really. Haruka. Aniki, あれ <laughs> he just told Haruka, hey, I lied to this guy. He's not coming with me. You take care of him. It's getting kind of chilly. Let's go in, Uncle Kaz. I actually think I'm going to stay out here a little longer. Oh, okay. See you inside. Don't forget to wipe your feet off before you go in. Because all the sand. It's cute. You hate sand. There's a clam in it. I like that it's random stuff in that box. It's a good fishing bait. Oh, yeah. What's up, Haruku? Can't sleep? 
Yeah, I guess there's a lot on my mind. But you don't need to wait for me, because you have a big trip tomorrow. Fair enough. I should probably hit the hay. Don't stay up too late, alright? I won't. Sweet dreams, Uncle Kaz. Sweet dreams. Harika. We're gonna get it this time, you stupid mutt. Stop! Izumi, this dog a friend of yours? Get back! Wait. Come back. You're not getting away that easy. Oh shit, I know where that dog is from. Language. Tell me about this dog. Well, he used to live over at the and he's at Kaya. Quite a little fella back then. Not the maniac he is now. Honestly, he's so out of his mind. I don't even recognize him at first. But he's definitely the same dog. The guy who ran the place shipped on up to Tokyo a while ago. Guess he was abandoning the dog. Hey, didn't you used to have a dog of your own? Zimchan? Yeah. Can I look at can I go look for the dog on Kaz, please? Just wait. I'm sure I'll... He'll come back eventually. No, I'm gonna go find him. Alright. You want a hand? Yes, please. No luck, boys? No, he got away. That's the fastest dog I've ever seen. He's just slow, Tachi. I totally could have caught him. Yeah, then why didn't you? That's enough, you two. Where'd the dog go? He sprinted off towards town. Well, looks like we're going on a little field trip then. Okay. You're really gonna go after it? Yep, you two wanna join? <sighs> nah, I'm pooped. Me too. I'm sick of chasing dogs. I'm coming. Put me and Izumi go take a peek over on Boulevard. You can check on that street. Sounds good. Let me get my worm! I told you, we don't want any ice cream. Uncle Kaz is gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Damn it, kid, you're not listening to the words coming out of my mouth. I need to see a guy named Kir Cousin Mercurial. What's going on here? Wait. Are you Cousin Mercurial? Yeah, what do you want with one of, one of my kids? I don't appreciate people presuming, pressuring them to buy ice cream. Cousin Mercurial, I have come for you. Yeah, that's right, I know you. No, Kamiyama. I trained Kamiyama and used both the weapons he carries. I'm kind of a master at him. Weapons master, you might say. Told me all about how you were looking for new exciting ways to bust skulls, so here I am. Why would a master come all this way at a request of his pupil? Okay, okay. You're a little suspicious, understandable. But I'm not, not a rich dude. I spend most of my time selling ice cream on the beach. Kamiyama is my pupil, but he also is selling me weapons at a discount, because I'm sure such a great guy, and because I'm such a great guy, I can't refuse him when he asks me to do something. So, this is Kamiyama's weapon master. Maybe I should have him teach me. Okay. I'll take you up on it. Yes, I was worried you were going to ch chicken out. Come find me on the beach, if you're mad enough, that is. Well, you might as well go do that quick. Part of the beach. Is it not even? So come find me on the beach. He's not even on here. Unless it's like a night thing. Or after. Oh, there he is. I couldn't see him. Demon stone. Oh, but it ain't my star ass kicker. Ready to hone your ass kicking skills? Yeah, I'm ready. 
All right. And that's what I like to hear. So there's one itty bitty thing I need to know first. What kind of weapons can you use? Right. Well, I guess I only know two real techniques. Sword technique I learned from the old man and the staff technique I learned from an old lady. Everything else is self-taught. Not that I can hold my own. Hey, that's more than the chuckleheads that usually show up here. Now I'm guessing you want to focus on something you can't already crack skulls with, huh? Sounds good. Alright then, what about nunchuck? Pretty badass weapons if you ask me. Uh -huh. Nunchuck. Nunchuck. A more iconic Okinawa weapon there ain't. Don't be fooled by their opposing appearance. They might look devastatingly powerful, but that's because they are. Okay, nunchuck it is. Alright, take out your shirt and get in the ring. No way you're going to be able to move the way you need to be dressed like that. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So when do I get my nunchuck? Never. Okay, now, not, not ever, but they're my babies. I only give them out to people who I know can handle them. What? I can't even hold them? How am I supposed to master nunchucks without using them? That's the Yanoshiro style, baby. You can't truly master a weapon until you beat an armed opponent arm unarmed using your arms and legs, I guess. Do that and you'll be forced to learn the weapon's weak points. I've been traveling the world fighting weapon masters for years. This is how you learn. See, of course, I've seen some shit in my travels, man. Some real shit, you mean. That does things to a man. <laughs> Kamiyama says I'm creepy. Psh, like he's the one to talk. <laughs> but enough talk. Have any last regrets? No. Then let's begin the lesson. Beat me! The problem with nunchucks is as long as I keep the pressure up on you, you can never use it. Damn, Kiryu-san, you done did it. Now you're a master of the nunchuck, your training is done. Come on, Kiryu-san, the pun wasn't that bad. No, it's not that. Listen, are you really a strong fighter? What? You injured me, sir. How can... Could you look upon my s sick fighting skills and not disappear? No, that's why I'm asking. I tell you the truth, I didn't have much trouble beating you. So which is it? Are you holding back, or are you really that weak? <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Come on, not a single one of the chumps Kamiyama referred to me ever figured that out. Not one, but you. <laughs> you did it. I sh should have known you would. What do you mean? Well, let's talk about Kamiyama. Total genius, right? Yeah, no. Only about weapons. He has no freaking idea how to judge a person's character. Been working with him for eons, man. Not a single dude he's sent could beat a one-legged guy in an ass-kicking fight contest. Ass-kicking is what I teach, man. But I didn't want to offend my roly-poly pal. So I've been letting them beat me and giving them a little gold star for doing the thing. You, though, you could kick kick a billion asses without even breaking a sweat. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah! Okay. It's Hyper Yonashiro time. What? Oh, too amazing for you? All I did was take off your hat. Hey, 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 someone's observant. And that means you're going to fight seriously? Right. Yes, look, this cap, this cap is literally a cap. You feel me? A cap on my abilities. When I'm wearing it, my power is capped. When it's off, I'm fully uncapped. Ah, uh, are you okay? Never better. What do you ask? No, no. We can play doctor after this is done. So, let's do it. Same rules as before. Drop me. And don't get dropped. Only forget that guy you just fought. This is hard mode. Alright, bring it on, Kyu-san. I'll try not to kill you. <laughs> He's giving me real Majima vibes. This man's psycho. I love it. He's crazy. He's got an afro. Okay, he's a lot harder. He's a lot harder. I should have leveled up my skills. Fuck Oh, my God. 
Man, nunchucks can really be annoying. I want a pair. I think the nunchuck might be my favorite weapon in this game if I got it. Can I grab this man? Punches don't break blocks, and that's annoying. There we go, I got him finally. He was a lot harder at time. Oof, good fight, Kirisan. You, my man, are full of shit and vinegar. I was seriously serious that time, man. More serious than a trip to the crapper after my mama five alarm curry. And I, <laughs> but I'm seriously surprised you beat me. You're gonna have to give me a sec. Going hyper Yonoshiro takes a lot out of me. Gotta take some time to recharge it. Damn, you were actually trying to kill me. I, were you actually trying to kill me? I like your style, man. You're definitely the real thing. Yonashiro san, can you teach me another weapon later? <laughs> <laughs> Certain. Careful, Kiryu san. You might just stop my heart saying stuff like that. Or hitting me the way you do. Either one, really. And that's why I like you. Oh, and I promised you a fancy certificate and everything, didn't I, here? You got a nunchuck master certificate. Show this to Kamiyama. That little piggy, those crap his pants. He, he, he had better. He'll sell you some, sell you some nunchucks. Ain't that great? And here he can even make you a custom pair if you got the designs and materials. Ask him for the details, though. I only know about beating fools with them, not making them. Anyway, I gotta say, you've really grown on me, curious son. Grown on me like a tumor my mama has. And sometimes it's best to keep teaching tumors martial arts. That's why I've decided to stay here. That means you can train with me anytime you like. <laughs> Look at that tumor my mom has. <laughs> oh, the writing's gotten great in this game. I I love the writing so far. Oh, we got some sub stories to do. Nah. Did I hear you say something about English classes? Oh yes. Haven't you ever heard taking lessons before? If you register now, you're entitled to a free handbook. They'll teach you all the ins and outs of the language. Hmm, I'm not so sure. Uh, but fluency in English will greatly expand your horizons. Don't you want to be able to communicate with foreigners? Here, why don't you try reading this book first? 
and then tried t speaking natural English in no time. You got free English textbooks. Start with using expressions on the first page. For example, do you see someone in trouble? All you need to do is ask, do you, do you need some help? English is the kind of language where you can say one thing a lot of different ways, so it can be a little intimidating at first. Our language language will teach you exactly what you need to know without the extra fluff. Not only that, but each fr phrase has been academically peer-reviewed for optimal accuracy. Now, I hope you enjoy the course, and as we say in English, HAVE A NICE DAY! man about to jump? He looks like he's about to jump. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Don't try and stop me, I've got no other choice. Stop him. Whatever your reason is, it's not worth it. Now tell me what's the matter. No, thank you for asking. Truth be told, I'm drowning in debt. I borrowed the cash from a loan shark to keep my head o above water and then it just spiraled out of control. I've been paying off as much as I can, but it's not even enough to keep up with interest. The only way I can pay them back now is with my life. Literally, I just finished signing up for my life insurance plan. Now all that left is to kill myself. You know that won't work, right? Eh, what do you mean? Life insurance companies don't usually pay out for the suicides committed within a year of the policy start date. Uh, so I'm, a worthless, I'm as worthless dead as I am alive? Pretty much. Well, now what? If I had any money, I wouldn't have taken out those loans in the first place, but if I don't pay them off, the loan sharks will kill me anyway. Just keep going and then working harder. They won't kill you as long as you don't stop paying them. Besides, police have been clamping down on loan sharks lately, so they can't actually follow through on their threats. In that case, I guess it couldn't hurt the try. But how do I you know so much about all this? I used to work in a similar line of business. Is that so? I'm Kishimoto, by the way. And it's nice to meet you, mister. Kiryu. In that case, Kiryu-san, here. I'd like you to have this. <laughs> well then. It's better to keep my nose to the grindstone. Thanks again for the pep talk. Yay! Some of these sub-stories are really easy. Like, it's just talk to people. Which is weird. Because I'm so used to actually doing something. Sub stories. I want to do them all. They're like, well, I, I shouldn't call them sub stories because they're not necessarily sub stories. They're just little side quests now. But if I leave Okinawa, well, we just got to Okinawa. We have to leave and go back to Kamrocho now? Like, I was enjoying Okinawa. Oh, hey, that's now I finally found a lock key. <laughs> Forever. I was enjoying Okinawa. I, I mean, I know I can probably come back here whenever, but like, I don't wanna... I wanted to do everything here. I didn't want to go back. Foreigner, did she sprain her ankle or something? Ow, she looks like she's in trouble. I think I learned some useful English expressions that might come in handy. Wait, you speak English? Yeah, wait, you, wait, I, I get this right. Wait, you speak English? Yes, thank you. 
Here, let me try in Japanese. I hurt my foot getting out of the car. I'm still in a lot of pain. Are you a kind and handsome man, though? You are a kind and handsome man, though. And your English is very good. I would like to know you better. If you study more English, I can give you a big reward. Please consider it. See you later! So that's an English conversation? Huh, wild! Oh, you're the man from before. Well, how's your progress? Did anything nice happen because you can speak English now? You could say that. Wonderful. And in that case, you didn't know a lot of foreigners living downtown on Rikuyu. So, if you can speak English, you might be able to make some new friends. Not only that, the price of our beginner's book has dropped to 10,000 yen for a limited time only. Our beginner's book contains even more useful daily expressions. Read it once and you'll be chatting away in English in no time. So, have I got your interest peaked? 10,000 yen. I think it could be enough. Is this... I like to think this is going to be the headcanon to why Kiryu can suddenly speak English. Oh. A straight this way. I pronounce you straight this way is another way of saying down the street. Learning this phrase is the first step towards helping someone with directions. Aren't our handbooks like hidden gems of knowledge? Now I hope you enjoy the conversation. And as we say in English, have a nice day. I like that they yell the words in English. They're just constantly yelling, which is funny, because that's what the English people do. Is they yell everything they say to the Jenny. <laughs> so Kiryu's learning English and he's yelling it. Kiryu's a big scary guy, so this is gonna be great. Come on, man. What are you thinking? Strutting around like you own the place at your age? This is a public street. So why don't you stay out of everyone's way? Why is everyone, like... Kiryu's 41, maybe. Because it's 2009 now? And yeah, it was 2006 in the last game. So that's three years. He was 38. So yeah, he's 41. Eek. I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. You look pretty good at your age. I hope this can make up for it. Excuse me, sir. You should really stay away from those lockers. And why is that? Shh. You shouldn't say stuff like that. People say that locker 44 over there is cursed. People hear groaning and clanging noises coming out at night. I'm sorry. This girl loves to spread silly rumors. Don't take her seriously, okay? Let's go, you guys. Everybody knows all that stuff about horrific sounds coming out of the locker. It's all a big lie. Curse locker, huh? Spooky! That's for locker number 11. I'm assuming the substory will open up when I... Was it around here? God, this sucks. What's wrong? I lost a key somewhere here. You haven't seen it, have you? Key, can I say I have? Shoot, I live in the, on third floor here, and I know I had it when I left my place. So if I dropped it, it must have gone somewhere around this building. Or maybe it was when I was looking out the window. I bet I can't find it if I look hard enough. Is there a key somewhere? And I get to use first person to try and find it. Well, this is great. I rarely ever use first person in, like, any of the games, so this is great. I wish you could walk around in first person. Got super resin. That's probably material for making weapons. Got royal joker card. Interesting. So she lost her key somewhere? Oh. Hey, what's that? Hey, that might be the key that woman was talking about. I'll have to tell her about it. 
Whoa, did I drop that stupid- Where did I drop that stupid key? I can't get back into my place without it. Hey, you're looking for your keys, right? Yes. Did you find it? Maybe. There's something up on that edge on that hallway on the third floor. The third floor. Oh, that could be it. I'll check and see. Could you just wait here for a second? That was it. All right. What a dumb place I could drop a key. I must have fallen when I was looking out the window. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. I don't know if I could call this a reward, but here. Locker key number 33. Oh, yes. If you look hard enough, you'll find them all over the place. I don't know why, but people are so careless with these things. I found this one earlier and opened the locker, but it had no use for what was inside in there. I bet it could come in handy for you, though. Anyway, I have to hit the road. Thank you again. That sounds vaguely illegal. But hey, no point in looking a gift horse in the mouth. Looks like I have a locker to open. I would never expect Kiryu to use that expression. For some reason. It just... It's very odd. I got a stun gun! She couldn't... Really? A lady like her and she couldn't find a stun gun? Ooh. Hey, lucky key number 38 sitting there. Uh, I'll send my worm, the clam away. I wonder, the resin must be for making weapons. Why is my minimap so zoomed in now? What should I do? What should I say? I've got to talk to her somehow. Hey, could you move? You're kind of blocking the restaurant. I'm sorry, I, uh, uh, you okay? Please, I need your help. Tell me how to be a man. What are you talking about? I know it's a weird thing to ask a stranger, but I don't know what else to do. Look, calm down. What's got you this freaked out? I'm really, really sorry to spring this on you. I just need to talk to someone about this. I hear you out. Okay. What's going on? So there's this girl who works at the burger joint. The moment I saw her, it was love at first sight. I just don't know the right way to tell her how I feel. I never liked anyone like this before, and when I asked my friends at school to help me, they just made fun of me. I made it to the front of the shop today, but I couldn't get myself to actually go in. That's where I'm at. So that's your problem. I don't know if I'll be much help. Really, Kiryu? You're a... You're good at this stuff. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Would you just straight up tell her how you feel? Or, let's see... Suck it up and talk to her? You could write her a letter. Just give up on her. Just suck it up and talk to her. Man up and tell her how you feel. You're right. I should just man up. Okay, here I go. Heh. Go for it, kid. Well, what'd you say? The only thing I could say was my order. Now I've got an empty heart and a full stomach. What happened? Someone else butt in on your conversation? confession? No, it was all me. I tried, but I couldn't get myself to talk to her after all. What was I supposed to do now? You really do need help, huh? In that case, how about, let's see. Why not try writing her a letter? If you're having trouble speaking the words, you could try handing them to her. That's a great idea. I already wrote her a love letter, too. I have it on me. Even I'll go give it to her. Now that sounds creepy. Well, you certainly came prepared. Did you give it? No. I bought a burger instead. What happened to the letter? I couldn't find the courage to give it to her. I'm so pathetic. What am I going to do now? This is worse than I thought. In that case, how about... Let's see. Invite her to see a movie with you. It's a tried and true classic. You're right. There's a romantic comedy out this week, too. I'll go ask her. Got a sinking feeling his invitation isn't going to make it past his lips. How'd it go? I got a shake with my burger combo. It's almost too much food for me to eat. 
many burgers does that make now? More importantly, did you ask her about that movie? Well, she was talking to one of the other workers about how she hates going to movie theaters. It just wasn't the right time to ask her to see a movie, you know? Are you sure you're serious about this girl? Let's see. How about you text her about how you feel? I'm not a big fan of doing stuff like that over text, but if you can't tell her in person, you might as well be your best... Oh, good idea. Wait, what's wrong? I don't have her number. That should have been your first reaction to that suggestion. What else? Ask her out. Just walk up to her and ask her out. All you have to do is tell her you're interested and see where it goes. What? But I can't do that. Quit whining. Of course you could do it. Straighten out that spine of yours or I'll straighten it out for you. Okay, okay. I'll give it all I've got. Here goes nothing. If this doesn't work, he's sore out of luck. How'd it go? The best I can manage right now is ordering burgers. I don't understand how you can even eat that much. Guess it's up to me to do something. Let's see. I'll go tell her how you feel. Alright. I'm gonna go into that shop and ask her out for you. Wait, what? Look, you're not getting anywhere with this. I'll talk to her for you. Just follow me in. Wait, but just pipe down and follow me. <laughs> Cause, God, this kid's frustrating. And that's how it is. Can I get a hamburger? <laughs> the temptation to get a hamburger! <laughs> Give the kid a chance. Just one date to see if you jive. Yeah, please. I'm sorry. I'm more interested in the older gentleman. This older gentleman. Wait, what? This older gentleman? I'm more into mature, dependable guys like him. At least, that's who I'd rather go on a date with. What? But, no. Hey, what's the big idea? This isn't how it was supposed to go at all. Why am I the bad guy here? You came by a half dozen times to buy burgers, but it was all because you had a crush on me? No, I mean, I just think you're... Then why didn't you just ask me out on a date? I'm not really attracted to you guys, so don't even have courage to do something like that. Uh... Well, take this as a life lesson. Next time, take things into your own hands and ask her out yourself. God damn it. The next time I meet a wo woman in my dreams, I'll ask her out, I swear. I'm kind of glad that that didn't get a happy ending, but also that was interesting and frustrating at the same time. Yeah, why is my map so zoomed out in? Excuse me, sir. Please, come over here for a moment. Are you talking to me? Yes, please. I need your help. What's the problem? I was hoping to treat my family to some ice cream, so I bought some from the shop over there. But four six scoop specials is far more than I can carry by myself, and now they look like they're starting to melt. I know I shouldn't be asking a complete stranger, but please, would you help me carry them? I'm begging you. Seems like I, you could use the help. Sure, I'll lend a hand. Oh, thank you so much. You're much nicer than you look. So where do you want me to take these? Uh, right, just bring them up the street to the convenience store over there. There are a thousand yen a pair. Please be careful with them. Deliver the ice cream to the man's family. Be careful not to run or bump into passerby, or you'll drop it. Think about how happy the family will be when you deliver their delicious six-scoop ice cream cones to them outside the convenience store. Where are they? No, I was going the wrong way. Okay.
Oh, they're over here, I see. Oh yeah, car stop for curious on. Daddy, what did you get us? Six scoop ice cream cones. Whoa, you're the best, Dad. Daddy does love to spoil his little treasures. Uh. Who's this gentleman? There's too much ice cream for me to carry on my own, so this nice man helped me to bring them here. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. Yes, thank you very much. There must be something we could do for your kindness. Oh, I know. Why don't you take this cone for yourself? Are you sure? Yes, it's fine. My husband and I can share one, right, honey? Absolutely. Sharing an ice cream cone with my wife. Gosh, it reminds me of when we were just school kids on a date. See, I told you he went mine. Here you go. It's all yours. All right, if you say so. I got a safe scoop ice cream cone. I got an ice cream cone. I got an ice cream cone. Yay! Looks like they're enjoying their vacation. Glad I could lend a hand. Woo! Bunch of XP! Woo! That was, an that was an interesting side quest, actually. You actually had to walk it and stuff. I, that was cool. I like that. There are so many side quests here. I'm getting the experience I need, though. Boy, do I need it. Knock that lady's ice cream cone out. Oh, I played for two hours. Or oh, here we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Did you hear why Takashima kun hasn't been coming to school lately? They say the devil cat got him. Even the one that creeps up from behind and haunts you till you're dead? Uh huh. They say that it ends up following you. A horrible tragedy is bound to happen. How much longer am I playing? Uh, I probably should end soon. I have hit two hour mark. In the hospital, I heard he got caught up in a fight or something. You think it's the devil cat's fault? It has to be, I'm telling you. That cat is nothing but bad luck. Stop it, Haruku. If the devil cat hears you, it'll come for you next. That's really too bad, because I love felines. But, by the way, don't a lot of cats gather in front of Aqua the Sky behind the station? Oh, yeah. The owner's always putting catnip out, so lots end up over there. Maybe the devil cat's there. Two rubbing tails of the others. <laughs> These schoolgirls look ugly. Devil cat that brings bad luck? That's absurd. Give me the key. Treasure. Okay, well, I can't just save anywhere now. So, where's the phone booth? So I can save in phone booths. There's... One back this way. There's also one on that seat, street there. So let's go back this way. And we'll save. And then I have three more side quests to do the next time I play. And that was the main story I just passed, so we're good. Really? You really want to fight Kiryu? Is this man supposed to be holding a bat? I see that spawn, that piece of wood just spawned there, right? I watched that spawn. Is it just this guy all by himself? Does he have friends? Oh, he does have friends. Ouch. 
I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I'll never do it again. This is your protection fee. Oh. I'll send the worm away. I don't need all these worms. <laughs> They're only for fishing. And then over here is the phone booth that I can save at. Just like I did back in Zero. I want to say we had to do that in one as well. I don't remember. Maybe not. And I'll probably be back tomorrow to play this. Probably. 